In this movie, let's finish tuning up the bones, and then we can add some of the detailing to the leg that we need to, and then replicate that or duplicate that for our left leg, and finish off doing the types of bone structure we need to do in rigging this character before we get into our animation. I played with this just a little bit between movies and uh, made one slight change. I found that the name for the lower leg, for whatever reason, didn't take when I entered that, so I re-entered that, so we've got calf in there. What we'll do is adjust the constraints now, and I shifted one thing around. I tried bending, went, oh, this isn't what I need to have happen, and made a couple changes, so let me show you what they are. And for now, let's turn off that background. It is just in the way. This will help us see what's going on. In selecting these smaller bones, the helper bones, helper front, let's open constraints. And I actually want to try to connect this first to the calf before I go to the thigh. Sometimes it works out, and I've had it, had it go both ways, so I just tried one first, and I wasn't getting the results I wanted. We've got the calf with a value of 1. But something else we'll want to do is create a range of control for this. Right now it's locked and doesn't have any movement capability. You see the little helper handles pop up right here. I want this to rotate a long ways back. You can watch a little red line moving around as I adjust with the mouse wheel, the scroll wheel, the range of motion there. It's a nice little visual cue. And I don't want it actually to come any further forward than this, so I'll give it a value of 0. So negative 190, positive value of 0. Let's select this lower helper as well. I have this set a little bit, but we need to actually increase that to get this reverse fold for this extreme frog leg bending right there. And we'll leave the front version right at 20. We'll close this. Now let's see how this is playing. Actually, before I do that, I want to take a look at influences again. Remember how the top part of the leg was getting very skinny and the knee was getting skinny? Part of that was because the influence of this calf bone is so significant. So I actually need to reduce this somewhat keyboard shortcut Z for the bone manipulation tool. Let's go ahead and play with this and see how it's working. We are still getting some funny little business going on up there, so we're going to need to adjust our helper bones just a little bit. And that's great because that is easy to do. I'll select that one helper bone. T for translate. I'm going to move this down just a little bit further. B for the bone tool to select that one and then I want to adjust and take a look at this influence again and reduce that even a little bit more. Keyboard shortcut Z for the bone manipulation tool and let's bend this again. And really working on skeletons is very much a process of let's check it out and see. Now believe it or not I'm getting the motion that I like right there although the shape is bending incorrectly. So let me show you how we fix that. That's where we come back to the right leg, keyboard shortcut G to select the shape, T to translate. And I'm simply going to move this shape down a little bit further. Of course, I will need to realign the bones just a little bit or not. I may not do that just yet. We'll wait and see. I'm going to move the foot and get that connected back up again. Come back to our bone layer. Move the foot bone up just a little bit. Actually, I need to do T for translate on that. And we have a funny little connection down here where the foot meets the leg, so I need to adjust that slightly. We'll go back to the back right leg. T for translate, and we'll get that one little change made. Back to the leg layer. Z. Let's see how this is planned together now. There's still a little bit of tune-up that needs to happen. B for this little bone, and I'll do T for translate to get this out here. T for translate this. B again to select this top one. And I want to check the influence on this. I'm thinking it may be just a little bit too much. Z for the bone manipulation tool again, so we can kind of see this in action. Yeah, we're getting some kind of funny knee bending going on. So, what I will do is to go ahead and tune this up, because this is just a process of check it and see. We'll check back in with a new movie, and I'll show you exactly what I did to fix that, and then we'll move right down the road quickly and get into the animation portion after we do something very unique with a master 
type of character.